Spring has arrived in the countryside with longer and warmer days, bringing us a mix of cozy rainy days and beautiful sunshine, which invite us to go outside and reconnect with nature. For me, coming of spring means a renewal of spirit. I'm eagerly looking forward to the world turning green again and the air smelling of flowers and fruits. The coming months are going to be a celebration of life and nature's abundance. I'm determined to make the most out of it before the cold winds of autumn will usher us back into our cozy homes. She is tolerable at her. She's not handsome enough to tempt me. I feel like this year is flying by, we've already arrived in April. This encourages me to try even harder to savor every moment and be grateful for each passing day. In the midst of daily life, adulting, responsibilities, it is so important not to lose sight of the magic hidden in the little ordinary moments. The secret is that it is you who creates this magic and chooses to look for the rainbow when it rains. Even rainy days like today have something good hidden in them. My husband and I went out for a morning walk, but because of the rain we ended up cozying up in a very quiet tea room. We drank coffee, held hands and talked about our plans to buy a house next year. This probably became one of my favorite memories I've made so far this year. Even for an outsider, it might not look like anything special. Opening the chapter on April and welcoming spring means I get to read another chapter of a year in a Victorian garden and learn about new flowers. This book is not only inspiring for an enthusiastic gardener like myself, but also beautifully illustrated. Some of you might know that doodling, sketching, even painting is also my aspiration, but unfortunately something I keep on putting aside and not practicing very often. Spring is the perfect time to begin new project and work on your dreams, so I decided to take a class and start learning drawing. I found this class by an amazing illustrator Mimi on Skillshare and started learning from her the basics of putting your ideas on paper. Skillshare is the largest online learning community with thousands of classes. I have shortlisted so many of them. British English pronunciation, graphic design, storytelling, search engine optimization. All these things will help both my business and me on personal level. You bet the first thing I checked on Skillshare was their yoga content and they have a lot. Many of you often ask me how to begin your yoga practice and I'm glad to tell you that Skillshare has tons of videos for beginners. Even better, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare, so I encourage you to get started today. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and giving one month free trial to my followers. Spring has now arrived in the UK, there is no doubt about it. Rain or shine, nature has awakened and the signs of new growth are visible everywhere. 
On one lovely, warm, very sunny day, we visited the court garden and it was pretty much a perfect day. Observing nature coming back to life after a period of rest is so reassuring. We all go through phases, we have days, maybe even whole months when we may not feel our best. During these times it can be challenging to believe that brighter days will return. However, life is in constant motion, time is ever flowing and things are always changing, whatever we like it or not. Seeing nature coming back to life in spring is proof that bad times won't last forever and that things will eventually change for better. I found this thing. Yeah, you did. It's the water. Yes. Spring serves as a beautiful symbol of hope, reminding us to trust in a brighter future. To be honest, it's hard not to be optimistic and full of hope on a day like this, strolling a beautiful garden presenting English country style at its best. I hope to come back here in summer to admire this place full potential. For now, it's time for a meal. We found this lovely field kitchen with a really interesting menu. And I'm glad we decided to try because everything was delicious. Spring isn't just about flowers blooming and birds chirping, it's a powerful reminder that even after the coldest, darkest days, warmth and light will eventually return. Just like the buds on the trees, we too have the potential to grow and flourish, no matter how dormant we might feel during our own personal winters. Let's take a cue from spring and embrace the hope it brings, knowing that happy days of summer and for many of us also autumn are coming. I can't post this vlog without showing you our family trying hot cross buns for the first time. Andre and I had some in March during our trip to Holt, but my friend Hayley instructed me that the only right way to eat those traditional British buns is toasted with butter. I was ready to just pop them into our toaster, but of course my husband, who's always a little extra, got his cast iron pan out and naturally I'm not complaining. Everyone in the family enjoyed them except Rosa, honestly it wasn't a surprise, she's a really picky eater. 
Andre made us coffee and we decided to relax and watched one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Pride and Prejudice BBC miniseries. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.